Hannah, my daughter, is gone because of her. Exhale. Tell your friends to cool it. I don't know what you're talking about. And whose fault is it that the Martha died? Her, her fault. fault. Her, her fault. fault. Sinner. Sinner. Don't be a cry, baby. <laughs> can get us out, all of us. You could be free. June he comes up with this idea to get Frances, Hannah's Martha, to arrange for her to go see Hannah at her school. Go to the gate. Go to you, Parker. He'll help you. Would you like to go for a walk? When June convinces Eleanor to take her to Hannah's school. It's such a beautiful scene and just so full of both kind of sadness and joy at being so close to her daughter. You understand it as a parent on such a deep level. Hannah. Moira is having to grapple with how she can help everyone in Gilead from outside of Gilead, which is a really big problem. Canada needs to grow up here until Gilead go to hell. Nicole is a refugee under their protection, just like us. Minister! We're starting to see her get what I call her Moira-ness back. Minister, how can you even consider negotiating with Gilead? There's so many traumatic events that have happened in her life, but those traumatic events have also made her stronger. At the end, and there's this really interesting, morally ambiguous moment when June finds out Hannah's moved. Gone where? I don't know. Not even my commander knows. She thinks it's Francis's fault, and she takes it out on her. <laughs> By his hand. That is a very big catalyst for June to really start to lose her mind a little bit and start to kind of adapt a ruthlessness. The day we shot that was so cold that their eyes are red rimmed because it's just so cold. And there's a moment where June attacks of Matthew. She starts to lose any shred of the June that walked into Gilead. And she really starts to become a new June. Gilead!